Disneyland will never be completed. This is one of the most famous quotes of Walt Disney when it comes to the parks that he and his company created. Since then, there have been five new theme park resorts around the world, and today the sun never sets on the Disney Park Empire. Truly keeping to that phrase, there are many construction projects happening at this time all over the globe. So come along as I explore and check the progress on the biggest Disney Parks projects right now. Before I begin, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and liking. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram and in the Discord. Links are in the description. Let's get to it. Starting our journey around the world, we begin in Disney World. Currently, there are two major projects happening in the parks. Tiana's Bayou Adventure and the Epcot Overhaul. Let's leave Tiana for later and focus on the latter. Announced in 2019, the Epcot project would bring new life into the second park of Walt Disney World. In the coming years, there was a lot going to change and be built throughout the park. I could go on and explore all that was announced and then cancelled, but that would be enough content for a whole video. Let's just focus on that now and see how everything looks over there. The center of the park is the one part that's still under construction. Here, visitors will find a completely remodeled area, where the Fountain of Nations used to stand, there will be a huge Epcot logo, which will act as the middle of this new area. All around it, lots of trees and greenery will be featured inside huge planters. Dreamer's Point will be a smaller location with a new statue of the man that started it all inside the Epcot Gardens. To the right, Communicor Plaza will be an outdoor area where shows and performances will be played. Communicor Hall will be the inside section where exhibitions and experiences will happen, especially during the very famous festivals. To the top right, Journey of Water inspired by Moana will be a new walkthrough interactive attraction, where guests can interact with magical and living water, just like in the movie. This exploration trail will feature lush landscape all throughout, and even a big Tefiti statue. This project has been under construction for a long time now. The good news is that it's finally nearing its end. All this should open later this year, with Moana Journey of Water opening in Fall 2023. Leaving Orlando and going to Disneyland, we come across the next project, and that is the transformation of Splash Mountain into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. This new adventure will invite guests into the world of the Princess and the Frog, and to do this, dozens of entirely new audio animatronics will be found inside. Worry not, as many of the smaller animatronics previously found in Splash Mountain will also find a home inside this new mountain. New and exciting music will be featured, but also some of our favorite tunes from the movie. I seriously hope there's a scene with Dig a Little Deeper in this new iteration. Around the attraction, some changes will also be found like the transformation of the French Market restaurant in New Orleans Square into the one and only Tiana's Palace. This ride transformation is also happening in the Magic Kingdom, where construction is already somewhat more advanced, as a new Tiana's Food Water Tower has been installed and is on its way to looking very similar to the concept art and models provided by Imagineering. This newish ride will be ready to open in late 2024. Passing over the Pacific Ocean, we arrive at Tokyo Disneyland, a resort known for their amazing quality. The parks are now witnessing their biggest expansion yet, with something that could honestly be a completely new theme park. Fantasy Springs is a $2.3 billion expansion, being the single most expensive one in any Disney park around the world. Inside this new massive land, guests will find several minilands themed to Disney movies. Peter Pan, Tangled and Frozen will be the ones to be represented here. Rapunzel's forest is in a valley and features the emblematic tower where she had lived. Here guests can find one restaurant and a water-based attraction. Looking at construction photos, we can see that there's been a lot of progress. Tokyo will also receive a brand new Arendelle. 
This version will be different than the ones being built in Hong Kong or Paris. The castle features a table service restaurant where guests will be invited into the castle to dine within these amazing walls. At the far end of the village, guests can see the snow-capped mountains with Elsa's ice palace on top. Similarly to other parks, these mountains will hide the massive show building which will hold the frozen ride. Not a lot is known about this, but it's unlikely to be the same ride as the one being built in Hong Kong and Paris, which will be very similar to Epcot's version of Frozen Ever After. But it looks like it'll be a normal boat ride. Due to the huge size of the show building, I think that it'll be a bigger and better Frozen boat ride, with a different scenes and story to Frozen Ever After. Peter Pan's Neverland will feature two attractions based around the classic Disney movie. The smaller attraction will be based around Tinkerbell's Pixie Hollow, an outdoor family attraction. The major ride being added to Tokyo Disney Sea is a Peter Pan e-ticket ride, which will see guests board a boat and follow the lost boys on a river. With pixie dust, the boats then fly through Neverland on an adventure that features iconic music and dynamic 3D imagery. This will for sure be one not to miss. Construction in all of Fantasy Springs is already very developed, with a lot of the theming already installed. The opening date has been pushed back some times, but Disney hopes on opening in Spring 2024. Moving to China, Shanghai, the newest Disney park in the world, also has a lot to look forward to. The biggest expansion to the resort is now under construction. Behind Fantasyland, visitors will find a bustling town filled with skyscrapers and interactivity. Based on around the hit movie Zootopia, this new land will be filled with references and characters from the film. The main draw will be the new e-ticket attraction, which will have guests race through the many environments and habitats present in Zootopia in a police car chase. Featuring the enhanced motion vehicle, firstly used in Indiana Jones Adventure, Guests will truly feel like a part of the story. Many animatronics will also be present, as Shanghai Disney has shared over time. Outside the attraction, a lot of shops and restaurants will fill the streets of the city, with smaller shows and characters also appearing throughout the day. One of the main parts of this land will definitely be the theming and staging of all the buildings, from the skyscrapers to the smaller details that will truly sell the story they are trying to portray. While we still don't have a precise opening day, Disney has shared that this land will open later in 2023. Going south from Shanghai, we soon reach Hong Kong Disneyland. Here guests will soon find Arendelle, originally supposed to be opened by 2021 and located between It's a Small World and Toy Story. This new land invites guests into the magical kingdom from the famous Frozen movies. With two attractions, Frozen Ever After, based on the one from Epcot but different, with a bigger scale and new and better animatronics, and Wandering Oaken Sliding Sleighs, a one-of-a-kind coaster that will take guests on a journey through Arendelle. Each ride begins with Olaf and Sven pulling your sled to the top of the mountain before sending you down. Many shops and restaurants will also be here, such as TikTok Toys, a shop, or the Golden Cronus Inn, a cozy restaurant. Comparing the ride vehicles to the ones in Epcot, we can see that these will have something like 30% more capacity per boat, which is great news as the American version suffers a lot from low capacity. Looking at construction, it's moving full steam ahead and looks amazing with most theming elements already fully done. Which makes sense, as this land is opening quite soon, just in time for Hong Kong Disneyland's 17th anniversary in November of this year. From Hong Kong, we make our way to the last resort, and that is Disneyland Paris. The second park, Walt Disney Studios, is undergoing a massive transformation, which will, in the future, see changes being made to many parts of the park. Right now, though, construction is long underway on the promenade, lake, and frozen areas. Guests will be able to explore completely new areas, as the park will almost double on size when this opens. The promenade will have the English gardens, a tangle-themed spinner attraction, and a huge table service restaurant overlooking the lake. Around the lake, not a lot will be found for now, but shows will be played during the day in the water. 
Several gardens will be featured around it, where people can gather around to watch the nighttime spectacular that should be featured there. On the other side of it all, guests will find Arendelle the World of Frozen. This will be very similar to the one we just went over in Hong Kong, but with some differences. Here, there will only be one ride, Frozen Ever After. But a huge meet and greet location will also be present, where visitors can meet the royalty and other Frozen characters. Many shops and restaurants will be present in the land as well. This major expansion is very exciting, as it will open up huge new plots of land for future themed lands and experiences to be featured. There are many rumors surrounding everything, so make sure to check my videos on all this. Unfortunately, there's still a long way to go, but it seems Disney wants to open all this in Spring 2025. In the near future, I'll bring a video covering all of the construction going on here, so make sure you're subscribed for that. And with this, we come to an end on our trip around the many Disney Parks projects around the world. Which one are you looking forward the most to? I hope you enjoyed and thank you for coming along. You can find all our links down below. And now, as always, thank you for watching and that's a wrap.